Hi, I'm Tommy Lindstroth, founder of Green Badger. Today, we're going to talk about one way to earn the material ingredient reporting credit, which is option one in material ingredients, in Leeds version 4 and 4.1, by using products with health product declarations. What the heck is a health product declaration, or HPD, you might ask? Health product declarations, or HPDs, provide a full disclosure of the potential chemicals of concern in products by comparing product ingredients to a set of priority hazard lists based on the green screen for safer chemicals and additional lists from other government agencies. That sure is a mouthful. HPDs qualify for lead version 4 and 4.1 if the end use product has published and completed a health product declaration with full disclosure of known hazards in compliance with the health product declaration open standard and must demonstrate the chemical inventory of the product to at least 0.1% or 1,000 parts per million. That's an awful lot to try and digest to see what is compliant for an HPD. So we are going to walk you through how to determine which health product declarations can help you achieve your LEED certification. But beware, not all HPDs are created equal. And just because a product has a health product declaration, it does not mean it automatically qualifies for LEED. Fortunately, the good people at the HPD Collaborative have put together a great resource on what you need to have for HPDs to be compliant. They also have a repository of health product declarations, so it's a great place to be anyway. They've even included a new filter that allows you to see if it is pre-verified to be LEED compliant. You can get all of their great resources at this website. Now let's use the HPD Collaborative's great lead compliance resources to walk you through what an HPD must include to be lead compliant. The first thing you may notice is that there are multiple iterations of the HPD standard. The first is HPD version 1.0, though most of those, if not all, will be expired by now, and it is currently on 2.2. There's also a 2.1, a 2.0, and a 2.1.1. Regardless of the version, you'll have to have a few data points consistently presented. Let's start here with the threshold level. Based on the lead language I mentioned earlier, the product must have an inventory to at least 0.1% or 1,000 parts per million. So the box 1,000 ppm or the even more stringent 100 ppm must be selected. If any of the other options are selected, it cannot be deemed to be in compliance with lead. Second, you need to check the residuals impurities options. It must be filled in, it cannot be blank. If partially or not considered as selected, it must be explained in the notes section in section two of why that is the case. Then comes the characterized screened identified options. Characterized and screen must both be yes or yes ex slash sc depending on which version of the HPD standard is being used. The identified option can be any of the options. At the bottom of page one, there needs to be a link where the HPD is available, either from the HPD repository or the manufacturer's website. It will also indicate if this HPD was third party verified. There's not a lot that are, but if it is, then it counts for 1.5 products under lead version 4.1. In section two, there's a few requirements, but if you've made it through everything on page one, you're typically in pretty good shape. Under other project notes, this is where any details on residuals and impurity considerations must be explained if it was checked partially or not considered on page one. Finally, the hazard screening methods, the percent compositions of the materials, and the roles must be filled out, but there's not a right or wrong answer, so just make sure that they aren't blank. So there you have it. Just remember, not every HPD automatically counts for lead, but if you can verify these few data points, you'll be well on your way to earning option one of material ingredients in lead version four and 4.1. Make sure to follow our YouTube channel for more great content or visit getgreenbadger.com resources.